Things to try when troubleshooting configuration profile issues in Jamf Pro include checking the install status of the command, supervision status, and looking for conflicting profiles. Let's start by checking for the install status of a command in a computer or mobile device's inventory record in Jamf Pro. Click the History tab, then click Management History. If a command to install the configuration profile doesn't appear under Completed Commands, check under Pending or Failed Commands. If there is no install command, navigate to the configuration profile and click Scope to ensure the device is in scope. If the device is in scope and there's still no install command, click Options to verify the distribution method in the general payload, install automatically, or make available in self-service. A configuration profile made available in self-service will not generate an install command until a user attempts to install it. Try installing the configuration profile from self-service on a device in scope. Next, let's check for a pending command. Navigate back to the History tab of the Inventory record, then click Management History and Pending Commands. If the command is pending, confirm the Apple Push Notification Service, or APNS, is working by navigating to Settings, Global, Push Certificates, and MDM Push Notification Certificate. On the device itself, check that it's turned on and connected to the Internet. Now let's check for a failed command. Navigate back to the Device Inventory Records History tab and Management History, then click Failed Commands. If the status of the command is failed, check the error. The message might give a direct indication as to the solution. Otherwise, take a screenshot of the error, download the profile, and create a support case with those items attached. The profile can be downloaded by navigating to Computers or Mobile Devices, then Configuration Profiles, click the profile we're troubleshooting, then click the Download button. We can also check the install status of commands by navigating to a configuration profile, then clicking the Logs button. If the install command completed successfully, but we're still not seeing the desired outcome on the device, check for supervision requirements. Many restrictive settings require devices to be supervised. For example, Back in the Configuration Profile, click the Restrictions payload, then the Functionality tab, and any settings that require devices to be supervised include a note. On a computer, we can check if supervision is enabled in System Settings. With General selected in the sidebar, scroll down and click Device Management. A message appears here indicating this Mac is supervised. On a mobile device, we can check for supervision in Settings. A message appears in the top left indicating this iPad is supervised. If the install command completed successfully and we've confirmed the device is supervised, but we're still not seeing the desired outcome, check the level at which the profile is being applied in the general payload. If user level is chosen, ensure the user is in scope and logged in. Otherwise, check for conflicting configuration profiles. It's possible for devices to have more than one configuration profile installed. If there are multiple configuration profiles containing the same payloads with different settings, the resulting behavior is undefined. For more information, check out the Apple Support article in the resources titled Plan Your Configuration Profiles for Apple Devices. Thanks for watching.